and shout. I actually experimented with a lot of guitar sounds uh, and, and guitar choices that were kind of different for me. You know, people that know me know that I a lot of times just play my trusty Les Paul. That seems to be something that, uh, that I always have by my side. <laughs> I played this uh, baritone guitar, as I mentioned, on No Reward, on Scared to Live. When we recorded the stuff in LA, I didn't have any of my equipment there because we didn't think we were gonna be making a record. We were just writing and, and recording demos. So I had borrowed some equipment from uh, my friend Pete Thorne Jorgen had this old Epiphone guitar uh, hanging on the wall. I tuned it at one point a uh, half step down, which I do a lot, which is kind of a Hendrixy sort of way of tuning the guitar. First prototype of the of Gibson copy and Dwayne Allman's 59 or 59. 57. The 59. So what 59 makes that different than their old 59 custom shop reissue? It's a different guitar. That one's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This one is. Is this a baseball bat neck? No. No. Oh, no. no. And then you know, I guess on half the record I, I played a Les Paul and I dug out my old 1969 Marshall that I haven't used in a long time, which uh, tended to be the, the main workhorse amplifier for, for the record. The Epiphone I played on World Boss, in, including the solo, which it was a nice challenge for me. I love playing guitars that I'm not used to because it always makes you think different, respond differently, uh, and play differently. Yeah. 